Well, Christmas in the Park is back for its 25th season, and this year there are over 60 light displays with some new additions. Yep. Carmel takes us a tour through the pretty lights. Check it out. Hey guys, I am here at Oak Park with at Christmas in the Park with the one and only Dave. Hi, thank Hi. you for having us. And he is a part of the Satoma Club who puts on Christmas in the park. So tell us about the cool things that you guys do here. Okay, we set up about 60 to 65 displays and um, we're open every night from five to 10, except weekends, it's five to 10.30. And uh, we charge $5 a car to go through and see all our displays and um, try to enjoy and get in the spirit of Christmas. Uh, and a lot of our stuff is animated, it's well built, built by Saratomans, and we all get together and set it up starting November 1st. And usually within a couple weeks, everything is up and working. And uh, we started on the Friday after Thanksgiving. What I do love about this club, it's all volunteers. And you guys built every single display that you will see coming through here. And for those mm -hmm. who don't know, it's a drive through, which is right. super cool. Yep, it is. And I love the fact that it's only $5. And you guys were able to raise a lot of money last year. Yep, last year we raised about $60,000 in uh, just the one month that we're open. And uh, that was the most we've ever raised. Previous years, we were usually over 50,000. So it's, it's, and we give away all the money every year to speech and hearing programs, uh, kids programs. Uh, the speech and hearing programs is at, at mine at State University and kids uh, like T-Ball, um, other kids programs, uh, Mesa Arena, the zoo. Um, so not only when you come here, you are able to support the community and support other businesses because you guys do not pocket the money. You guys pay it forward and give it to people who need it. And that's absolutely remarkable and wonderful. What is mm -hmm. your favorite display? Is it hard to choose? Well, I, I don't know if I have a totally favorite. Some of our favorite displays would be like uh, um, the reindeer jumping over the road. All of our, uh, the ones that have sequencing are all pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, kids really enjoy it. Everybody really enjoys it. So we get a lot of repeat mm -hmm. business. Yeah, this is a perfect place to bring your kids or, you know, a date night. It's definitely not like an age limit mm -hmm. to come here. And it's only five bucks. What a, I don't, I can't think of a better way to spend five dollars. Right. <laughs> so um, what are you most looking forward to this year? Uh, this year we'll do be, we'll stay open the same. Um, we uh, our best night, by the way, is is always uh, Christmas Eve. Um, we usually double our intake on Ooh. Christmas Eve, so it's always our best night. Yeah, and I would like to note, like it's it's pretty big. Like when I first came here, I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't think it was going to be as elaborate or as big as it mm -hmm. is. So you guys do a wonderful job. Yep. We have a lot of good sponsors. All the businesses that we sponsor, we spotlight them with a sign, and uh, they're uh, they're. It's fun to have them involved. We uh, set up their displays and take them down and store them, so they pay us a fee for that, and uh, we keep them all lit and working all month. Yeah, and I'm hoping that you guys are able to top your. Uh, highest grossing uh, profits last year. So hopefully we could get you guys out here, out there to come here and double that. So right. fingers crossed we could, we'll be able to raise more money to help more kids right. in yep. other areas. So thank yep. you so much for having us. It was such a pleasure, you know, pricking your brain and just learning mm -hmm. more about Christmas in the Park. Thank you for coming. Absolutely, thanks for having us. And I do know that was Carmel's first time at Christmas in the Park, so that's why she was very excited. And that's to be awesome. There. Um, you should know Christmas in the Park lasts all month long, and they are open at 5.30 every evening, and closing times vary on the weekends, so make sure to check out their Facebook page. Sounds